So consider this plain wall made out of wood with a thickness of 0.2 meters. The wood's very tall and wide compared to this thickness. It's got an initial temperature of 20 degrees C. Hot air on either side of it with a temperature of 325 degrees C convects heat to both sides of the wall. There's a heat transfer coefficient, H, of 10 watts per square meter degrees C. Wood's got a thermal conductivity of 0.1 watts per meter degrees C and a heat capacity of 2,000 joules per kilogram degree C and a density of 500 kilograms per cubic meter. So we're being asked to calculate the temperature of the center of the wall after two hours. Uh, let's start and we're going to start by determining whether lump capacitance is an appropriate way to make this calculation. Let's pretend that you didn't think this through very clearly. Let's pretend that we're just going to go with this equation well, let's assume that lump capacitance, maybe it does work. Let's just say the temperature is equal to T infinity plus the uh, difference in the initial temperature and T infinity multiplied by E to the negative HA times time divided by the density of our wood multiplied by the volume of the wall multiplied by the heat capacity. So if I put numbers into here, and I was careful with units, what I would find is that the temperature is about equal to 110 degrees C. So we predict temperature of the wall after two hours is 110 degrees C. However, we first need to check whether this is appropriate or not. So let's start by calculating the BO number. The BO number is the heat transfer coefficient multiplied by some characteristic length divided by the thermal conductivity of the wood. A characteristic length in this case is going to be the distance uh, over which the temperature gradient would occur. So in our case, this distance that we're talking about would be the distance between the center line of the wood and the exterior of it. So the total thickness of the wood is 0.2 meters. The characteristic length that we're looking at is going to be 0.1 meters. So using that to calculate our BO number, we've got H 10 watts per square meter degree C multiplied by 0.1 meters divided by the thermal conductivity of the wood, which is 0.1 watts per meter degree C. So let's confirm that this is dimensionless. The watts cancel out, the degree C and the denominator cancel out, as do the length scale meters. What we're left with here is a BO number that's equal to 10. Clearly that's not less than 0.1. So we will find in that case that this temperature uh, prediction is completely incorrect. So the answer to this question is no, lump capacitance absolutely cannot be used to predict the temperature of the wall in this scenario. In fact, I've developed this finite element analysis solution to show exactly what would happen in the case of the wood. Here I've got, I'm plotting uh, the temperature from 20 degrees C up to 264 with temperatures ranging from blue to red. And the plot step, that number one right there, indicates uh, at step size of 100 seconds. So that plot step is going to vary between 1 and 72. As I make the animation, what we clearly see is the exterior of this wall heats up much more rapidly than the interior. Remember, the assumption associated with lump capacitance is that the temperature of this wall would increase uniformly over time, which it clearly does not. And the, by calculating the BO number equal to 10, we knew at the outset that this would be inappropriate.